expose himself, you know, just getting movement out of him. I always give my students shit when they do that because it's hard. It's hard to correct no movement. It's easy to correct bad movement. So he should be moving. But if he's not moving, um, what I'll do is I'll start going back and forth with my knees. Like this is worse. That sucks. Right? So I'll go here. And if I can land my knee, like right there with his hand here, like I don't want to go here. I want, when he pushes there, I want to go here. Then I'm looking to sit. If I want to transition to mount. I need to land on his hips, because if I land too high, he's going to scoot me off. So, I'm going to here, if he pushes my knee or not, he just locks up. I'm going to go above his wrists. I'm going to switch, sit on his hip. And I want to go real low. And I'll almost always go with the neck, so the hand comes out to defend. And then I can, then I can come in. And if he leaves that there, that's fine. I'll trap it, but I want this hand out to defend. Put that back in. When I back step, I don't just want to fight him. Going to the neck will immediately make him come defend. Even if I don't get it, sometimes, sometimes I just do this on the neck. I don't like, yeah, they'll come up and I can solidify them out. So here. If I can't get him to open up, I'm just going to go one, turn. I'm going fast. So here. Um, if, if I'm not getting any movement at all, I'll put my knee right on his wrists like this. This hurts. Right? Guys will panic. Here. We'll move them back down here. And then you can try the chokes. If I do get this nice and deep, I'll almost always dismount to the other side. Knee on belly and do it all again. It's actually a good drill. We do that drill. <clears throat> One, two, three. Four, dismount, you know, belly. Sorry, I got heavy on you. Gravity, one, two, three, four. Dismount. You can just keep going and going until BJ taps out.